Hey, what's going on everybody? Dog Trainer Behavior Technician Drayton Michaels here today to talk to you about safe, unsafe, neutral. That's all your dog really knows. Safe, unsafe, neutral. This is what your dog really knows about everything. And they walk away from every event in their life or every interaction with whatever stimulus it might be based on the safe, unsafe, neutral determination. This is based in Pavlovian conditioning or associative learning. Pavlov, the legendary scientist who studied dogs, came away with this. Dogs will have a predictive value about all that they encounter, whether it's an event that encompasses many levels of stimulus or one single stimulus. This predictive value will be associated to either safe, unsafe, or neutral feelings about it. Neutral means the dog knows that it's there, but they don't really care about it so much. Now they might, depending on what happens with that stimulus. Unsafe is on a spectrum. Your dog might feel slightly stressed by having its nails clipped, but it might be petrified of thunder. And then there may be some things in between. So safe, unsafe, neutral is something that you have to take into consideration when your dog is experiencing anything. The safe association lets us know that the dog feels good about what's going on and they're ready to go. And that's the category we would like to keep them in or bring them back to if they do feel unsafe or stressed. The reason why many trainers, and I use that word in quotations because I don't consider people who cause dogs fear and pain to be trainers, they're more suppressors than anything. Those people are causing dogs to feel fear and pain because they want to suppress the dog and get the dog to stop doing whatever it is that they're doing. And yes, you can get a dog to stop doing something by causing it fear and pain, but what's left in its place is a negative association to that person and the event and whatever other stimulus the dog associates to that particular event. When you use fear and pain, you run the risk of causing a dog to have undue aggression. All dogs can feel fear, all dogs can display aggression, but we don't want to do anything to um, make that prevalent. We don't want to do anything in our training practices that will cause the dog to end up with aggression or to be shut down. A lot of dogs never bite anyone but they're shut down and that stress gets compounded and that can lead to health issues. Obviously when the dog feels safe, they feel good about what's going on, they're ready to go, that's the category we want to keep them in. So remember, when you're out there with your dog and you're trying to figure out what are they thinking, what they're really thinking is, am I safe? Am I unsafe? Is this neutral and I don't really need to care about it? Sometimes dogs might not know what's going on and they're trying to figure it out and assess it. Uh, for instance, there's a sound in the distance or perhaps they see a person or a dog in the distance and you see them thinking and they're trying to figure out what's going on. That's the comparator function. And not to get into the weeds, but that's a part of the brain where the dog is trying to compare what is happening to past associative events or stimulus. In that moment, it's a good idea to mark yes and pay your dog. That's counter conditioning. And that will help your dog go from feeling fearful or stressful or slightly even frustrated back into feeling safe and less stress. Thanks for tuning in to Modern Dog Training. Train safe, train force free. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.